Hey guys, it's Jamie Zebra 23. So this is a great debate. All right, so I have my ideas and I'm sure other people have theirs. So I'm going to read it to you and you guys post your opinion on this. Okay, so the Shade Room posted this. My girlfriend of six months has been out of work for the past two weeks and she got word that she will be laid off permanently. She asked me, could she move in with me? I told her I'm not ready to share my home with anyone. She offered to pay half the bills. I declined. Then she proceeded to ask me, could I pay her rent for her next month? I told her that I'm uncomfortable doing things that a husband should do for my girlfriend. But I told her she could borrow $300. She said that I'm wrong for not helping her out during her time of need but that isn't the case in my perspective. She says she isn't sure that she will continue dating me. He wants to know, am I in the wrong here or is this just another case of a woman feeling entitled? So I'm gonna give you guys what my opinion is, but of course doesn't mean it's correct. Doesn't mean it's correct at all. And I'm sure most of you have seen my other channel, Jamie Zebra 23 Chat. So my earlier videos, you kind of got, you guys will kind of get an idea of how I think. In my perspective, I think if if um, you know, he's saying it six months is too soon for him not to help out his girlfriend of six months, who he's been getting wife privileges from. They've been having sex, right? She's been giving it up, right? Um, but it's too soon to make sure she's got a roof over her head. She offered to pay half the bills, you know, so he's, so if he, if she can't move in, then, you know, what's the other options? It looks like he's being selfish to me, but this is what I think. I think she, you know, but this is my opinion. Of course, I think she should have been tested this out. I don't know if this comes from a past life. I don't know if it's because of my spiritual gifts, but I don't let men use me. Um, and I know some of you are like, well, how do you predict if a man uses you or not? Like, you know, you have to get to know them first. I agree. But I, for me personally, I have to skip all that. So I literally do this with every relationship I always have. This tells me whether or not I should deal with them. <clears throat> this might sound a little superficial. So before I even meet with them, they need to take a picture of their, you know what, and send it to me. So I know if I'm wasting my time or not. You know, I know some people might think that's, you know, disrespectful and you're not dating, you know, the, the D, but I mean, I know that the D is very important to me. Of course, I'm looking for true love, but of course the member, you know, that, you know, is very important to me as well. So, you know, so that I don't have to go out there and find other, you know, men to fulfill that need. I can't just be in the bathroom 24 seven with my, you know, Mm -hmm. with my toy while my man's out there because he can't satisfy me. So yeah. So I always make sure I have that down. Then the next thing, and then if, if I don't like what I see, I just block him and I never talk to him again. I mean, some people might think that's cutthroat, but why, why waste the guy's time? Why let him waste my time? So then the second thing is within a week, I do this. Well, I don't, you know, I'll be honest, maybe within a day or two, I do this, but typically within a week. I will test the guy out because I want to know if, and some of you are going to be like, that's too soon. It has, it, I'm, I've never been wrong. Usually if somebody's a giver, they're a giver. Whether they've known you for a while or they've not. Either they are a giver or they're not. I'm sure as time goes on, they'll give more later. But for me, personally, I have kids. You know, I've got shit going on. You know, I'm financially stable, of course. But I will test them by doing something like this. After the first date, I'll be like, oh my gosh, you're not going to believe it. My electricity, I totally forgot and I overspent. And my electricity is being turned off tomorrow and I need $200. Um, can I borrow $200, please? Or no, I don't say borrow. I'm like, I really need $200. I, if they say sucks to be you. Yeah, big brother's right here. Juan, 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 your baby brother's looking for you. He's here. So I just tell them what the issue is, what the need is. If they go sex to be you, I block them and I never talk to them again. If they're like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Um, where can I send the money or where can I bring it to you? Uh, where are you now? Can I bring it to you? Um, do you want me to pay it or how do you want to do this? I know that person's a keeper. I'll say, um, give, me, give me a few minutes. I'll usually text them back within 20 minutes say, oh, I figured it out, but thank you so, so much. Thank you. You know, thank you for being willing to help. 
but that's how I do it. Doesn't mean that everybody has to do that, but I also believe that the man should pay for pay for, for dinner. If a man invites you out on a date, I believe he should pay. It doesn't mean I don't have the money to pay, but I think that's, you know, common courtesy. I think a gentle, I think a man should open the door for a woman. I know some women, they don't, they don't care either way. I believe that they should. Um, in my opinion, the man is the man and the woman is the woman. So I, you know, as far as that goes, you know, even I have sons. I expect for my sons to pay for dinner on the first date when they're of age to go out with a woman. I expect this. I'm not saying for a woman to be using a man, but at least I knew within those, you know, within the day or two, what kind of a man I was dealing with. You know, if I ever did fall on hard times, he he would be a partner for me. He wouldn't be someone where I'd have to be like, oh, well, he's going to be of no help. I got to go out there and seek help from someone else. Of course, nobody wants to be in need. Who wants to be in need? Of course, we should all have money saved, but sometimes it doesn't work out like this. So that poor woman was asking a man she's been with for six months. She could have chosen anybody. She chose to stick it out with him for six months. I'm sure, you know, just from his attitude, I'm sure that this isn't the first time he's acted this way. I'm sure he's very selfish. He seems selfish. So if he doesn't feel like giving a girlfriend wife privileges, then he shouldn't be fucking her. But that's my opinion. All right, guys. JamieZebra23.com. Ta-ta for now.